Kia ora tamariki. It's Professor Inventus at Capital E for Science Jam. I'm here working on some really good recipes to make electricity. I made electricity once before. I had a plastic pipe and a really strong magnet. I pushed the magnet through the pipe past a coil of brown copper wire and I made a light glow at the end of my torch. Well, today I'm going to make electricity the old-fashioned way, the way my grandma used to do it. For starters, I've got a really good recipe for some, mm, some really zingy static electricity. Electricity that is stuck. What I'm going to need for this dish is a strong plastic PVC pipe, the type that you would use for guttering. Now, my pipe is covered in electrons, and I don't want those, so I'm going to give it a clean. When all the electrons are pulled away from the pipe, it gets a negative charge. A negative charge can create a little bit of force. What I need to make here is a voltaic pile. And I'm going to start with some fruit. Now, you can use lemons, but here I've used some lime. And I'm just going to cut it neatly into some little circles. That's perfect. Over here, I've got some round donut-shaped washers. I got these from Bunnings. And they're shiny and they're gray because they're covered in zinc, which is a strange metal. It protects them. And also, to make my voltaic pile, I'm going to need some, some money. So what I've got is uh, some coins. And these coins are brown because they're made out of my favorite metal, which is copper. Now, I'm going to start my voltaic pile by making a layer of foil. And I'm going to put it right here. Great. I'm going to make a layer of coins on the foil maybe just four or five. I'm going to take a washer, and I'm going to put the washer, I'm going to take a washer, and I'm going to put the washer on top of these brown copper coins. Then, a layer of lemon. Perfect. Now, I start the whole process again, and I repeat it many, many, many times. I can really smell the aroma now. What I've got here looks like a big tall cake. Now, what I need to complete it is to make a circuit. No, 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 stop, stop. Not a circus, a circuit. What I need is a wire that goes around from the battery to a useful tool and back around again to the battery. A circuit is often a lot like a circle. All right, I've got my light. I'm going to put it here. Now I need to get an alligator clip. One moment. I'll get a green one. I don't know why they call them alligator clips. I'm going to go around from my battery to my light and then back around from my light 
to the top of my battery. When the circuit is complete, energy comes out through the light. This tower, this pile, was first invented by a man whose name was Volta, and he gave it the name Voltaic Pile. He liked to go around and tell lots of his friends about his piles, but none of them were interested. It's because for a long, long time, more than a hundred years, the pile was by itself and there was no circuit. So this invention is actually the invention of Volta combined with the invention of other scientists like Faraday and Thomas Edison. Now I've got some electricity that I prepared earlier. Real good stuff. This is my Tesla ball. It's a bit weird and a bit confusing. The center of the circuit is at that dark ball in the middle and the other half of the circuit is in the glass on the outside. Electricity does something very strange when it's put in this arrangement. It jumps through the air and if you look closely you can see it like lightning or octopus arms. When I touch the outside of the glass, the electricity moves towards my hand. It's because I'm a conductor of electricity too. So it leaps to me. The most confusing thing about one of these is when electricity travels without a circuit through the air. Here I have an eco bulb from my home. <gasps> Somehow, my eco bulb can obtain power without even touching my Tesla ball. I don't understand this at all. But I guess it's okay not to know. I'll see you next time. Takite.